Let's talk about Novak Djokovic's hamstring. He's through to the third round. He beat Enzo Cuoco last night in four sets. But as expected, coming into this tournament, the main thing that Novak has been battling in the first couple rounds has not been his opponents, with all due respect. By the way, Enzo played a great match. Congratulations to him. Uh, it has still been the hamstring, the right hamstring that uh, he injured in the uh, semifinal against Daniil Medvedev in Adelaide 1. So uh, before I give my observations and my takeaways from the current situation of Novak's hamstring, I just want to tell you what he said last night. And uh, thank you for Saza Osmo uh, for these quotes, which he translated from Serbian uh, because it's always better to take Djokovic quotes from Serbian if you can, but actually he's amazing in English as well. So here's what he said though. Uh, today, the intensity of the pain worsened as the match went on, especially from the middle uh, to the end of the second set. During the medical timeout, I went outside, I changed my bandage and took some medications. Pills started to work in 20 to 30 minutes, so in the third and the fourth set, I could move better. I still didn't hit the balls the way I wanted to, so I was not 100%, and sliding particularly causes me problems. You cannot predict everything that can happen in a match. You can't control the specific nerves that come with playing a match. There are a lot of sudden dynamic movements, and injury can become worse in situations like that, and that is what happened. So Novak... He's being open, he's being honest about what he's feeling on court and uh, what is going on, so let's talk about what it means in just a moment. Coverage of this Australian Open is brought to you by BetUS for this year's AO, play with America's favorite sports book, get $125 extra on your first deposit using the promo code GILL, link is in the description. My observations from last night go pretty hand in hand with what Novak Djokovic said. Uh, in the first set, there were one or two incidents of discomfort that was apparent. Uh, there was no sliding or really violent movements, but uh, those things were not necessary. As you know, Enzo was getting settled in the match, Djokovic was playing good offensive tennis, and uh, I think what we are going to see or what we have seen in the first two matches is that Novak can beat most players on tour without being able to hit sliding open stance backhands. You know, these these shots that are, yes, hallmarks of Novak Djokovic's game, but they only pop up once every several points. Uh, you can still be the better, or Djokovic can still be the better tennis player without necessarily being able to move in the way that we are used to seeing him move. Uh, so, wins the first set. In the second set, though, it got a lot worse, as Novak said, and then uh, it went from one or two incidents of discomfort to very, very frequent incidents of discomfort, where it was clearly the main thing that he was thinking about on the court, and his game suffered uh, pretty severely. He was, in terms of the movement itself, avoiding hitting open stance backhands for the most part. Uh, instead, he was kind of, you know, he would rather close his shoulders and hit the slice rather than keep the shoulders square and hit the open stance backhand, if that makes sense. Uh, stretch returns on the forehand seemed to cause him problems. I thought there was a couple of times where on the first serve return, he was really uncomfortable hitting, uh, hitting it on the forehand side. And uh, full sprints looked uncomfortable. Whenever he really needed to, again, get into that sprint mode, it seems to be a problem for him. Now, uh, he took a medical timeout midway through the set, got retaped, took some pills, as he said. Uh, in the last few points of the tie break, I thought he pushed his movement more. And I thought that also had to do something with the scoreboard. You have to remember that this isn't just physical, it's also mental. There is a fear involved for Novak Djokovic. He's thinking, I, I don't want to I don't want to hurt this anymore. I don't want to hurt this catastrophically. I I'm not gonna push it harder than I feel I need to. You get to a point where it's late in the second set tie break, the set is on the line. And you started to see, yes, probably the pills pick, uh, kick in, but also the scoreboard forcing Djokovic to just push the envelope a little bit more. And I think although he lost the second set, which was really a credit to Enzo, he played some good points there, um, He, I, I think it helped him 
where he pushed his movement, he he was okay, and then from the start of the third set, he he looked a lot better, moved a lot better. Although yes, it wasn't a hundred percent. So the concern here, big picture, is that this is not getting better. And coming into the tournament, I was not extremely concerned about the hamstring. It, it was a concern, but I. It didn't give me any pause when it came to picking him to win this tournament because he was still on court. He was still able to play that Adelaide 1 final. He was still able to practice, uh, although in the days leading up to the tournament, he did cancel practice. That was after my predictions. Uh, so I, I figured, look, right now, it's not awful. And if it gets better, then Djokovic can be back at 100%. The problem is it just has not gotten better. So now we're looking at a, a very different animal here. It's not something that's going to go away. Uh, it, it there, There's a, a huge concern that Novak will, will not have his best movement for the rest of this tournament. And the main takeaway is that instead of a smooth ride, that really this Australian Open has the potential to be. I believe the conditions are perfect for him. I believe he is well rested. I believe the draw suits him. All of these things in his favor. What could have been a smooth ride, it's not going to be like that. It is going to be an adventure. Just like 2021 was an adventure for Novak Djokovic. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.